All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So today we have our gear. This gear here is what we're taking with us to the Pathfinder course. We have all of our gear. We are taking the Pathfinder course in September. It is going to be the intermediate course. That is the step down below advanced because we have to do this course first before we can go take the advanced class. Now, I'm going to go over the gear that we have and what we're bringing with us. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is pull this out. This is our Bucksaw blade it is in tape right now, and I have uh, some string tied to it lanyard up uh, So I can strap it to the outside of my pack this way It doesn't cut up with the inside of my pack right now because that blade is sharp That's why I taped it up and I got a lanyard on it. So it doesn't if it does fall out It's not going to go anywhere uh, this way It keeps it safe keeps me safe and everybody else around it safe Okay, so first let's go ahead and pull up the dreaded tarp I did a short video on this, uh, one of those shorts. This is our canvas tarp. This is a, a six by eight foot canvas tarp. This is one of the items that are required in the course, same with the buck saw. Most of these items are required. When I got this thing, it had some nasty residue that was stained my hands, stained my clothes, anything it touched it stained. I had to wash this thing three separate times, uh, three separate days basically, because I washed it many times other than that, to get that out. Now we are going to treat this with wax and get it right for uh, water repellent. That's what we will be doing. Uh, this thing does weigh quite a bit, but it is a required item. They either said a six by eight canvas tarp or an eight by eight oil cloth, and I don't like using oil cloth. All right, moving on. This is not a required item, but it does say in my defense, I was left unsupervised. This is my med kit. This is a small med kit that I am taking with me. Whatever you bring in, extra, you got to make sure you can ruck it out. I do not go in the woods without a medical kit. Now I've got a tourniquet. I've got all kind of stuff in here. I got suture equipment. So I got sutures. Anything I need, right then and there, I've got. It's not a full blown medical doctor's office, but it's enough to get me by if I need it. It covers a lot of stuff. All right, moving on. We're allowed to have a headlamp, actually required to have a headlamp. We have chosen the Olight. This is one we did a review on a while back, guys. The Olight uh, is the pre-run mini. This one here, turning it on on low setting, I've gotten over four hours with no problems, and eventually I just finally turned it off. Um, so fully charged up, I know I get four hours of light. We went ahead and ordered some extra batteries for this, so I have additional batteries. I always have spare batteries. But we will be taking that as our headlamp. Moving on. Fire equipment. Now, this will be around my neck. This is a ferro rod. Uh, this is the one we got from Black Scout Survival, the fire cache he's got up there. We've done a review on it. Works great. I will be taking that with me. I don't know if I get to actually use it, but I did watch other YouTubers that have taken the course. They were allowed to take a ferrocium rod. So we took ours. We're taking ours. Next up, inside our tin, this is a required item. So I ordered it from their website. A time seven magnifying glass. We've done a review on that. We got char cloth ignited in no time at all. So that is what we're taking. We're also taking flint and steel. Okay, this is the ESSE steel. It's got the divot for fire, uh, bow drills because we do have to do bow drills out there. That's why we've been practicing doing videos on that. Um, we also have our flint rock. Now I brought two with me. I'm gonna ask them if I can take more because once you lose or shatter one of these things, you kind of screwed. So I'm gonna see if I can take more. And also I've got the tin. This tin has been fired up because we've been making char cloth for practicing and stuff. But this way we can travel with char cloth and stuff that we make up so we always have it on hand. All right, moving on, we have another pouch zipper here. All right, so first off, we have a sail needle. This is a required item. I've got two. This one here, this is for sewing up heavy canvas. You have to have one of these to do the course. I got two in case I lose one. I don't like losing stuff, but it happens. 
Next up, we have navigation, guys. We have to start doing map navigation stuff. We're learning real heavy on navigation. Uh, three mechanical pencils loaded up with lead. We have the Santo MC2 map compass. Comes with the magnifying glass, the movable bezel. It also has a nifty little screwdriver right here for that nifty little screw back here so we can adjust our declination in our compass because everybody knows magnetic north is not true north and just you have to set your compass up so we got that one it was an, it was an expensive one but it's a nice one moving on with our map navigation we have to have waterproof notebook this one here, I selected the grid style. This is one from the Pathfinder School. All right, so it's got, oh, I also picked up a uh, corner map ruler. I've actually got several different types. I'm gonna be taking different types with me. Uh, this one here has got little extra stuff in the in the waterproof book, you know, tarps and shelters and stuff like that. Uh, your basic stuff, but um, yeah. So when I picked that up, so you do have to have a water book, waterproof notebook. These pages are waterproof. I have tested them out. So that is required. Not required, but allowed to bring is bug spray. I did call them up and asked about bug spray. I said, so are we allowed to bring bug spray? Do we have to pee in the mud and smear it on us? They said we can bring it. So I got spray and I've got wipes. So that works. What I have not packed yet is toilet paper. I gotta get toilet paper. I have not packed that in my pack. So, moving on, let's check out this other zipper compartment. All right. So, we have our knife. You're allowed to take a knife with you. We have our knife. This is a carbon steel blade. This is the old hickory. This is one our friend Jeff sent us. The reason I want to use this one, because of the high deposit of carbon in this thing works great when I'm using my flint and can actually produce a spark with this one which is required in the class also we have a ranger bees attached to it that helps with counting out our meters and stuff while we're doing our land navigation training and I just ran some paracord through so I can actually hook it up on my belt loop um, because I've been using this as my boot knife next up this will be obviously on my belt this is our multi-tool so we got a multi-tool here that is required. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice one. It's actually mossy oak, so it wasn't too bad on the price. It's got the saw and everything else on here. What I do like about this one here is that it has locks. Every time you pull out a blade, it will not come back unless you depress that lock. So we do have a multi-tool. We have to get a 16-penny nail for part of our navigation stuff. I got those laying around. I can get one. Uh, Paracord. This is not a required item. This is 50 feet of paracord. I'm actually going to go ahead and put 100 feet of paracord because having paracord is nice to have. Uh, this is a pair of pants that I will be wearing out there. This is made out of summer weight material, kind of like what we had to wear in our BDUs when I was in the military. It's hard to rip. It's uh, breathable, lightweight. So that's what I will be wearing out there. Dock line, anchor line. We're supposed to have 20 feet of 3 8 braided um, cordage this here's 25 feet so I've actually got to adjust this and make it into um, 20 feet bank line this is a required item this is a uh, one pound of bank line this is the tarred bank line we brought this uh, we bought this through their website now that we had exactly what it was that they wanted but when you sprayed this thing out if you take it's three strands that actually make up uh, the rope you have to unstrand for one strand and you now have sewing material for your sail needle. It's just enough, just thick enough to barely get in there. So it works out very well. We have uh, cotton cloth. This is three foot by three foot cloth material. This is what we're going to be using for our char cloth out there. So we've got that. And moving around, looking around. I've got something over here. Oh yeah, my poncho. This is not a required item, but I like carrying a poncho with me. So I'm taking this with me. This is a poncho because you never know when you got rain and stuff. It's just nice to have. 
All right, so we were allowed to take either a axe or a hatchet. We chose a hatchet, this hatchet here. We've done review on. I used to have paracord down here on the handle, but it was moving around too much when I was trying to use it. So we took it off, but I did move paracord up here at the top. That way, if I ever miss what I'm trying to hit, it's not hitting directly on my wood and shattering the wood. So we do have a hatchet. Our um, sheath for it does have a belt loop if we decide to use it that way, but quite frankly, it fits just fine in the backside of my backpack, and that's where I plan on keeping it so I have access to it on the outside of my pack pair of leather work gloves those are well used so I keep them around this is an item that was required this is a canvas wax canvas bag I had to get that off of their website it has the Pathfinder logo this is some type of collection bag so they required it so we went ahead and picked it up All right, so our canteen, we did a review on this, guys. We showed this. We had to get a stainless steel canteen with a nesting pot. So that's what we got. This is all stainless steel. It's 1.2 quart, and it's got the nesting pot here. Now, what was not on the requirement list that I went ahead and upgraded to is the uh, stove for this. All right, so we can actually set that down in the coal bed and put our canteen on it. Also, I went ahead and got a lid for my nesting pot. So like I showed in the review, I was kicking up a lot of ash and it was falling in my water while I was trying to boil it. So I went and picked up one of those. Okay, so we got a pair of wool socks. This is actually gonna be something I'm wearing when I go to the class, that's why it's not wrapped up. Um, so that's gonna be part of the outfit I will be wearing. Next up is our camp pot. This is done by Solo Stove. This was not cheap, guys. This in here actually cost quite a bit. But it was required, a camp stove. This one here is a 60 liter camp stove. 60 ounce, I'm sorry, 60 ounce, 60 liters. 60 ounce stainless steel camp pot. Comes with a lid, comes with a handle. Uh, when the handles are folded, it's actually well balanced. So, that's actually, I mean, it's pretty nice. It's nicely made. I usually don't use these things, but it's got a little spout and everything. But it is required item, so we picked it up. Moving on, we have a non-item, non-required item. This is the dry bag. This is required in the advanced course. Actually, I believe you're supposed to have three of them. This is the 10-liter dry bag. Pick this one up on... Amazon so We have Hoodie From the channel. This is the channel merch. This is my hoodie. I'll be taking with me An extra t-shirt An extra pair of wool socks An extra pair of underwear and Our wool blanket this is 80% wool blanket. I used uh, some straps just to compress it down. The reason I got all this stuff in our dry bag is because having something dry to change into or go to sleep in is freaking awesome in wet, damp condition out in the woods. I've been soaked to the bone before trying to dry myself stripped down nearly naked except for my underwear beside a campfire just to dry out my clothes. Having clothes to change into that's dry it feels amazing. So anyways, that is that guys. That is all the gear that we will be taking out there into the field. It weighs uh, 38 pounds. Everything in here with an empty canteen. So I gotta fill up the canteen and uh, weigh it again. We are training with 50 plus pounds. That way, no matter what, I know I can pick up that gear and walk away with it. So yeah, this is what we're working with guys. So anyway guys, definitely appreciate everybody that has supported and helping getting this equipment for our travels. Um, it's going to be an amazing course. I can't wait to get it done. Can't wait to get started in September getting this course started. So for all those that have helped us out getting items that we needed, definitely do appreciate it. Um, that's never required. It is appreciated, though. It really does help us out here. So again, thank every single one of you. And thank every single one of you that have been watching our videos and supporting us that way. It means a great deal to us. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Speak to y'all later.